Hey guys, so I'm from Red Models, and today we're going to be doing a 2014-2019 Chevrolet Impala front bumper removal. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. If you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmotor.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, pop open the hood. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and take off these push pins right here. It's all around the uh, front bumper and on the top section. It's got a flat head right here. And we're gonna go ahead and take off the ones on top over there, all the way through to the bottom. And then we'll work our way to the other side. So all you do on this one is this focus right there. And go ahead and wedge it right there and then pop it up it should pop open like that then you can remove it all right so now if you look alongside the top of the bumper you're gonna see these uh, bolts right here they're gonna be t20 Torx right there and they go all around the uh, top of the front bumper So the next step is removing the bolt behind this fender right here. So I'll get you guys a little bit closer. So if you guys can see right back there, that's the bolt you're trying to get into. So you're gonna have to get an extension. So that's gonna be a number 10. And you're gonna need an extension just like this one. And I'll show you guys where to put that. And that bolt looks like that. Alright, so on this one right here, you're going to have these bolts. That's also a Torx Biz 20, I believe, that goes along the fender liner. This one's kind of damaged, but anyways, it's still... Uh, bolts right here that I take off so I'm gonna turn the wheel that way and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove those bolts push the fender liner back and then there's gonna be a bolt like kind of showing right now but that bolt right there that's gonna be a seven millimeter so it's kind of hard to see but these bolts are like right there two three four of them all alongside the uh, fender liner So a few minutes ago I said it was a 20, it's actually a 15. Let's see if I can get a... There you go. And then these bolts look like this. There's usually like one, two, three, four, four of them and then underneath two. So if you guys look right here, there's a bolt right there. But it's usually like pushed up and it's underneath. That's gonna be a, a seven. Usually you go ahead and move the fender liner to the side and then you go inside from here. But mine is exposed, so I'm just gonna take it off like this. And that's how that bolt looks like. So that's gonna be right here. Mine was already showing, but it's usually underneath right here so move remove move the fender liner back all right if the if the car's too low for you guys go ahead and jack it up on each side and then lift up the car because underneath we're going to take off these bolts so let me show you guys what those things look like so basically where the fender liner is is also attached to the bottom this is going to be i believe seven millimeters right here you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five on each side. And then same thing on this side. Same seven millimeters. And then I believe this thing is being held up. Alright, so I'm gonna take off those bolts over there. 
gonna start off right here. Actually, we don't need to take this off. We're gonna start off right here, all along. So skip one, and then go to the next one. Now the bumper's a little bit looser. I'm gonna do that on the other side. So remember, skip every other bolt. All you're trying to do is get the bolts off of the uh, black fender liner. This one, the fender liner is all broken up, so you won't be able to see it. But take off all those bolts that's connecting the fender liner to the bumper. So if you guys look in the middle of the bumper, you're gonna see this uh, this piece right here. There's gonna be holes, like right here, uh, over here, and over there. You basically, this one doesn't have it, but it's just push pins. The same way you took off the push pins on the top, just get a uh, fly head and pry it down and it should unclip itself and then it should start dangling like this, okay? So once it's dangled like that, we're gonna go ahead and start taking it off. All right, so once you guys remove the uh, bolts underneath the fender liner, so remember, just the bolts that's uh, connecting the black fender liner to the, uh, underneath the bumper, take that off. Also on the other side, take that off. Underneath, right here in the middle, right here, you saw the uh, colored piece, the silver colored piece. That's like part of the bumper. Just take off those uh, push pins, okay? So once those are all off, pull it from each side slowly because remember, you still have those fog lights. This one doesn't have it, but there's a fog light right there that you gotta take off that uh, wire to, okay? All right. So that bumper just fell down, but basically right there is actually where the clip is. So good for us, it was already unclipped. I guess that during the accident, something happened that unclipped that little uh, bumper right there or that fog light. So basically it's that one harness right here. clip is like right here so you have very little room so once that uh, bumper comes 
So I guess you guys start from the side right here and kind of push this out, out, out to the side and then kind of grab your finger and try to unhook it from right there. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a like and also comment down below with any questions you guys have. If you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. Thank you.